Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. It's been long that I made application video because we were going through a summer semester preparation series from dad. If you have seen my last video for preparation, the last video was on RPTU college for the course embedded computing system. If you remember, I also already made a video on same college, but for the different course. But today I'll be showing you how to apply for RPTU University Kaiserslautern in Landau for the course embedded computing system detailly. If you're new to this channel, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also please share this video with the people who want to pursue their masters in Germany so that they can learn from here and apply and get college. Without wasting time, let's get started. If you can just go through this link, this will be your course structure and the whole course details of RPTU and what are the requirements, registration, etc. everything. I have made a completely dedicated video. You can go and check in the that series of mine for this particular college. I have talked about full overview, course details, cost and funding requirements and registration, everything. But today we will be interested in applying so that we I will jump into requirements and registration. Here you can just see the submitting the application is internally in their website. So it's not like you don't have to have a, a uni assist. It is not meant to apply via uni assist, but I'm not sure that they require any VPD from university that we will gonna chuck in future. But if you ask me now, we don't require any VPD. So we are just applying in their website. So now we can just click on their website. So as soon as you click on their website, you can just come here and see the master of English study course and curriculum, which is embedded computing system. The other course that I talked about and showed how to apply is was automation and control. But today we are focusing on embedded computing system. Now, if we just go through the prerequisites and application of this particular master course, it will be your letter of motivation you have to return. So letter of motivation will be your SOP statement of purpose. So here you just have to mention what are the skills you have, why you are qualified for this particular master program and why they need to consider you for this master program by explaining you what are the things that you have done relatively related to these course. And if you have done some projects, publications, everything you can mention here and you can just write it in, write it in such a way that so that they will look into it and they can consider for you for this master course then as usual you should have a curriculum vintage since so many people were asking how to do it as i told you as many of people also asked me when i showed my resume so my resume is done in overleaf if you have no idea what is overleaf i'll just show you because there were some people also asked for my resume template i shared with them but they thought it's a word or pdf document where they can edit it now it is a latex template how to chuck the latest templates or edit it i can just show you but it will be in dedicated video i will just show you how to upload latex template and how you can do it because the usage of latex will be very good or very handy so that you can once you enter master degree or master degree courses in germany you have to write your whole thesis and some your research projects everything the thesis report will be should be written in latex template then master and degree and uh, bachelor or master certificate you have to have so uh, it means like if you have done bachelor's you want to apply for master's then you will upload my bachelor certificate or if you have already done master's in india but you want to pursue other uh, another msc then you will submit your master degree then you need to have a degree certificate and transcript translated to german or english but most of the colleges will have their transcript in english so no need no need of translation so your document already is in english then short, short description of subject covered during the previous studies this will be your complete syllabus in the last previous video where i made rptu college i have showed you how to get a module handbook of complete vtu college if you want i can just show you quickly now also then i will do in the next step then you also have to send two recommendation letter you can uh, directly upload it or you can also send it via email you can tell your professor who is writing the LOR to send him via email. The email address is linked here. You can just check it or click it so that you will take or copy the email ID where you have to send it. Then proof of English language certificate will be your IELTS. So IELTS should be six or equivalent or TOEFL you are taking then 213, 550, 
T80. So I don't know about the number scaling of TOEFL because I have not given. But IELTS, you have to have a six band. So that's it. Then APS. You should also have a APS document as we are from India nowadays. Then after that, you can just click on all checklist and deadlines that they have. As I mentioned, I will show you how to get the complete module handbook of VTU. In order to look for complete module handbook of VTU, you can just click on complete module handbook of VTU. Then you will get this website where it says B scheme and syllabus. You can click on that website. As soon as you clicked on that website, it will take to take to official website of VTU where you can see complete syllabus and scheme of the complete course that you're doing. In here, UG, UG uh, PG programs syllabus will be there but we did a UG and we did 2017 and 18 scheme structure so here you can just see the first and second semester PDF will be different and the third and eighth semester uh, module handbook will be different because first and second semester will be common which is P cycle and C cycles uh, that's the reason it will be common for everyone you can just click on scheme and syllabus for first and se uh, second semester then you can just download this PDF which gonna load it now then this is the complete PDF which contains whole module handbook of first and second semester of bachelor degree. But if you go through back, then if you want to get the third and eighth semester, it will be it will be different in the sense of as per your degree program which you have chosen. So my degree program will be electrical engineering that will be here electrical and electronics engineering. You can click on scheme and syllabus, then the whole PDF will generate of 148 page which contains your syllabus from third semester to eighth semester so this you can just attach and this is the module handbook that i always talk about then you can just click on go to application portal as soon as you click on application portal this is the official application portal that they have if you have not seen uh, seen my requirement analysis here this college will have a assessment fee in order to assess your application that assessment fee you have to pay after as soon as you finish or submit your application then you can click on assessment fees the assessment fees will be 60 euros you can just see here the no fees charge is for exchange students scholarship holders and foreign applicant with the intermediate diploma of german university we people who are applying from india doesn't fall under any of the category that's the reason we have to have a document application as soon as we send then rptu will confirm a receipt uh, uh, payment recipient that you will send the payment should be 60 euros you have to transfer then there were some people who asked what is the or where is the payment details that whom you have to send so then you can click on more information about the payment uh, link then you can just see here these are the information you have to use or send and for these recipient name bank details phone number account number reference iban swift and things like that so you have to use your iban swift and this is the main account number so this will be for your money transfer where you have to transfer 60 euros